What's going on everyone? Moose and Dave here. And uh, today we want to talk to you guys about a new sponsor to the channel, uh, Black Sheep Holsters. You guys may have seen my real quick intro, but uh, both Dave and I do have our holsters on from Black Sheep. And uh, we're gonna kind of talk about like how they fit, the retention, and how I think that they function. And uh, you know, flies. Bro, <laughs> bro, it's about to get real out here. It's a good thing I don't want to just shoot in the air because, man, it's close. But, uh, nope, actually, guns are unloaded at this point. But uh, we are going to talk about them. We're going to talk about them in depth, and we're also going to tell you guys how you can save some money. And we're going to talk about that next. All right, before we get too far into that, today I want to talk about our sponsor, and that is Holster Gator. If you guys have never heard of these guys, let me tell you, this is a great, great system. You guys may have seen some of the videos I did in the past, and one thing I really can't stand about magnetic mounts, right? I see them in people's cars. I see the ones that hold your slide in your car, and it's pointing at your feet, and they expect you to grab that thing and pull a gun out, and in a stressful situation, I think that's the most dangerous thing you can do. Probably. Your finger hits the trigger, pow! You just shot yourself in the foot. <laughs> Literally shot yourself in the foot. Right. I think it's ridiculous. So, Holster Gator came out with this awesome new concept, right? You've got an inside the waistband holster and you pull it out when you go to get in the car you take this great awesome block that they have they have these made for all kinds of different holsters so you know whether you shoot one holster or another they probably have the system for you it's got some 3m tape so you don't even have to drill holes in your car you simply peel this a little bit of rubbing alcohol on your car to make sure it's nice and clean slap this puppy on there now when you get in your car you pull your holster out you slide it into the holster gator hmm. and it holds your pistol in your car or truck that's pretty cool it is cool isn't it i like it, I, I think it's a great idea i i don't i mean i can't think of a better way the say the trigger is not exposed there's no way i'm going to grab this thing in a stressful situation and mm -hmm. accidentally pull the trigger or any other reason it's completely 100 percent safe no way this thing is going to fire yeah. right and i and love it, it and it's in your normal it, holster. it's in your normal holster yeah. so you know what a what mm -hmm. a great concept right yes. so like i said cool. you can actually get these from holster gator um, there'll be a link in the description down below you can also go over to my website at um, upnorthstuff.com and you'll be able to check out all the links to all these places. The other cool thing is, is this is not just limited to your, um, you know, your car. Um, I actually have one on my desk at home that I attach to the side of my desk. So when I'm at home, this is actually the holster that I use. Um, which is, it, it's not really an inside the waistband, but it's for demonstration reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I use this one because I have these things all over my house. So if I go from room to room, or if I'm in my bedroom, and this thing, you know, I have one on my nightstand, all kinds of different stuff, I can simply just lock it in. It's right next to me. It's, it's no different, and obviously, you know, it, it draws perfect, man. The retention's there still, and, you know, how... It's just a great concept. Yeah, very cool. So with that being said, let's get back to our video and talk about these cool black sheep holsters. So All right, so here we are. We're back. And um, first and foremost, I just want to show you guys that these guns are 100% clear. Both these guns. They are no, no bullets in the mags, nothing in the guns for demonstration nothing. reasons. Um, you know, I just want to make sure. But... Um, you know, when Black Sheep reached out to me and said, hey man, would you be interested in trying this out with your Glock 19X? I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure, right? I mean, especially the level two, um, you know, this is my battle belt. This is the belt that um, I do plan on running in all of our videos. Um, and I, I just, I like the fact that there's a little extra layer of security, mm -hmm. right? Because if I'm moving around and I've got my, you know, my AR or whatever we're using that day, and this is on my side, you know, I could be laying on the ground, I could be, you know, dipping behind something, yeah. and if my, if my, um, you know, handle of my gun gets, grip on my gun gets caught on something, yeah. you know, it can pop out. 
I mean, I've literally gotten into cars and had, you know, just the center console grab my gun and bloop, it flops out. So I love this concept. And I think that even though it's not new, um, I, I do love the concept yeah, of it for too. training. Yeah. So um, he did send one for, so this is for a Glock 19X. Mm -hmm. Yours is for a Springfield Mod 2. Springfield Mod 2. Mm -hmm. um, how's the retention in that? It's, Have you had it, to adjust it? No. Nope, no, it nope. came pretty well. It came perfect. I mean, it's it's there. Right? It's right there. It, it does lock in you there can, good. You I can, can hear the click. Yeah, you can it, audibly hear that click. It's, it's there. It's not yeah. anymore. So, yeah, you I know, like one thing about level two that always concerned me was, what happens if I reach down, I bump this, and my gun doesn't come out? So, I've sat and played with it, and I can't make it not work. <laughs> so, you know, it just yeah. it just does. You know, I mean... I can't get it to not work. That's cool. Um, so, yeah. you know, I do like it. Reliable. The, the holster fits great um, on this. That was my bad. That was that was my bad. <laughs> that was my bad. Oh, fat guy's bending over. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> I, I, I almost passed out on that one. So, um, <laughs> and that's another reason I wear a lot of the outside the waistband stuff too, because, well, I'm fat. And let's just face it, it is what it is. It's, it's uncomfortable for me to have an inside the waistband. Although, I did find a YouTube channel the other day where there was a guy who was about my build. Yeah. And um, he was demonstrating a new product that they carry that is for <clears throat> big guys. Us husky men. Yes, husky. Right? Husky. Yeah, husky. Right? I mean, I look at it like this. I might be fat, but I can always diet. There's people out there that right. can't fix their issues, <laughs> True. right? I can, I can fix mine, right? Eat a little bit less, but one thing's for sure: I don't skimp on when I eat, and <laughs> I, it's just me, man. I'm still healthy. The doctor says so, so whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, having having a good solid holster, right? This thing grabs this belt. I mean, there's no wiggle in it. Is there, yeah, I mean, no, that thing's, no, that thing's solid, right? It's there, yeah. I mean, and you know, I'm running a two inch belt. I think that's an inch and a half. Yep, yep. Um, you know, so I think that, you know, and the nice thing is they are fully adjustable. Mm -hmm. You can adjust them for a one inch, a inch and a half, an inch and three quarters and two inch. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of, you know, available adjustability. Um, with these holsters. So um, let's go ahead and uh, sit down at the table. We'll take these holsters off of our belts and we'll bring you guys some more close up views coming up. All right, so here we are. We're back and um, you know, here's a, here's a really good look at these. Um, you know, super great retention. Um, obviously, the little barricades I took out on mm -hmm. mine. Uh, you still have two in yours yep. um, because of my two inch belt, but um, solid locking with a lock on top. So once you um, put that in, you simply click this lock over mm -hmm. and that, that locks that retention. So there's no way this thing's just gonna pop off. Um, super high quality, I mean, really, you know, Kydex is Kydex, I get it, but there's different levels of people that do Kydex. Uh -huh. There are some Kydexes that I've had that are just super flimsy, um, yeah. not really well made. This stuff is solid. Like I said, grips my, grips my gun great. Um, don't have any issues. I mean, even down to where my mag release is, there's a kick out for the mag release, Yeah. right? Yeah. Which, you know, to me is, is super, super great. Um, same way. Yep. Yep. So, um, the locking mechanism on top, um, it it just I don't know, man. It just does a great job. It just it feels, man. There's just no way, you know. And certainly pops off just like it should. Um, but overall, just I, I mean, I'm I'm really impressed with the quality of it. Um, you know, it's cut. The nice thing is too, and a lot of them do this, but he does cut these for. Um, silencer um you know height sights um you know and they do come cut for red dots um so dave's is actually yeah. cut for a red dot and mm -hmm. we actually have one on our way for that gun which if you guys want to see how we put a red dot on that we're going to bring you guys a video on that um it'll be just a quick demo on here but if you guys want to check it out we are going to have um, a link on the patreon channel 
for actually doing the entire job. So uh, we don't want to tick off the YouTube people because we're showing people how to be safe and right. do things the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it just is what it is. But uh, nonetheless, man, definitely check them out. Black Sheep Holsters. You can follow them on Instagram. There'll be a coupon code on my website, upnorthstuff.com. If you go there, there's a coupon code on the website that will actually save you money buying these Black Sheep Holsters. Uh, he's got a great website. It's full of just about almost every gun that you can imagine. Um, you know, I didn't see one for uh, 50 cal. But, uh, you know, Desert Eagle would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool, man. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Man. But anyway, with that being said, I'm Moose. And I'm Dave. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Till then, be good to each other, and God bless. See ya.